Today we're going to check out the Easy Fleet Moab Auto Air and the companion hose kit, the Hyperflex. So let's jump into this video. Welcome back, Muffy Mafia. Hope you're all doing well. Today we are checking out the air system that I decided to go with, which is the Easy Flight Moab Auto Air. It is a dual compressor system. This one kind of being a little bit more local to Utah. So I decided to check them out. They've also got their hose kit that comes in two variations. You have kind of the Hyperflex system here, and then they have a coiled version if you'd much rather go that route. This allows you to air up all four tires at the same time with the auto air, and we'll be checking that out here in a little bit. But first, let's go ahead and unbox this and show you what is inside the box. All right, now, once you get it out of the box, you're gonna see that it comes in a nice little carry bag with some handles and a pretty nice zipper here. So we'll go ahead and open it up. It, these, uh, this bag, does have some pouches up along the front so you can throw some added tools like if you want to throw your tire gauge in there you can do that if you're just quickly checking it but kind of a nice little bag that this comes in so once we open it up you will see that the compressor is in there it is a dual compressor and we'll take this out it does come with another hose so that way you can inflate other things besides your tire. So uh, it's, it is kind of nice to have that. And then everything else is actually attached to this dual system. So we'll go ahead, grab the handle here, bring it out of the bag and set it down for you. Now along the back, you are gonna have your hose connection. So this is where the Hyperflex system is gonna come into play. So that's your main air tube. And then you do have your jumper cables. This is gonna to connect to your car battery. This is gonna be your power source. Now, one of the cool things about this dual air compressor setup is that it does have a digital pressure gauge right up along the front. Quick, easy access to read your tire pressure. Really awesome to have that. Now, one cool thing about this dual air compressor is that it does have a digital tire pressure readout, which is going to be right up here along the front. And right next to it, you'll see this plus and minus. This is to increase or decrease your desired pressure. It starts off at 30. And I'll show you this kind of out in the field once we get testing it. Then you also have a single and a multi button. This is so you can select if you're just going to do a single tire or if you're gonna do a multi-tire setup. Now the hose that I did pull out earlier that this actually connects into is 26 feet for a single tire use setup. So quick, easy, nice little uh, quick attach for your tire gauge. And then this obviously hooks into the air chuck on the unit. And as I said, it does connect to any 12 volt car battery and it does have a one year warranty on it. So this is quite an impressive unit so far. Let's go ahead and jump out into the field and test this thing. All right, so now that we've unboxed it, let's go ahead and test out the equipment. First, we'll get out the Hyperflex and we'll see just how fast we can get that set up. And we'll deflate the tires down to about 18 PSI before we go ahead and air up with the Easy Flate Moab Auto Air. I'm really interested to kind of see how fast this will inflate and how fast we can deflate. So let's go ahead and get this thing running. Now, one of the things I highly suggest is to make sure that you have a set of fresh batteries or at least a backup set, just in case your tire pressure gauge is left on when you put it away in the bag. So just a quick tip here. All right, now one of the other things I really like about the Easy Flate system is just how fast you can come down here and one-handed pop the chuck off. That's really awesome. I mean, it's just easy on, one-handed, easy off. All right, now one of the things you kind of want to note is that there is a short hose that leads to the first T connection and then a longer hose that you'll run to the back and that's how you'll want to set it up because if you do it backwards you're going to have a heck of a time trying to hook it up to your 
digital readout. Now, as you can see, we do have this closed. So pull down to close, push up to open, and we'll let the air out. Currently, we're reading at an average of about 30.6 PSI. We're going to go down to 18. And 18. So not too bad. It was actually pretty quick to air down to 18.2. All right, now I am in ignition mode. I haven't turned the truck on. And there we go. All right, our, our front digital display says 18, and we are actually showing 17 across the board. So we are pretty close to where we wanted to be. So 17 all the way around. Now let's go ahead and get the Moab Auto Air up. We'll see just how fast we can air back up to 33 PSI. Now, because this is a individual unit, you will have to hook it up to your battery in order for it to run. We'll make sure the truck is on before we actually start running this to fill up the tires. We'll go ahead, we'll hook this up and get this thing running. And we do have power. All right, now that we have the truck turned on, what we're gonna do is we're just going to make sure that our connection here is pushed up so that way it's open and the flow can come through. And then what we're gonna do is come down here, we're going to press the plus. There is an automatic set of, I believe, 30. Yes, so we're at 30, so automatically set to 30 PSI. You can come up here, we're going to uh, increase that to 33. And we can hit multi and that should start up the system. All right, I've gone ahead and opened up our system by just pushing up. So here it is closed, we'll open it up. We're reading 17 PSI, which is about, I mean, we're one off on the actual pressure gauge. This is a little bit more accurate to what we're reading in the truck. So we are ready to go. Let's just double check. 33 and we'll hit multi. Now what's kind of interesting is as loud as this system is, it's actually fairly quiet. Now it's doing a check. Now the auto air is going to do this uh, check every once in a while just to make sure we're already reading at 20. One. This is actually airing up rather fast. Now the cool thing with this system is basically you can just set it and walk away and let it do its thing. You don't have to do the check. See, we are reading 25.8, 26 psi. Now, as that's going, let's go ahead and jump in the truck. And let's see just how well this is reading. 
Wow, look at that. We are already up to 30. We'll go back out. Check. We've got 30. There's another check. back in and just double check again let's see what we got thirty five so we are a little bit high which isn't a big deal and now it is shut off it is now reading thirty three and this is going to be kind of an average of all the tires but as you can see on the inside so it's done and we'll just double check our tire pressure on the inside of the truck again. And we're reading 34. Man, that was fast. Going from 18 PSI to 34, 33. So there is a little bit of differentiation between the actual auto air. All right, this is kind of averaged out a little bit. 33 to... 34 on the TPMS sensors reading in the truck. That's pretty cool. All right, now that we're back in the studio, let's go over kind of just some final thoughts. This being a portable unit, it does have its advantages and disadvantages versus an onboard system. But I do like the fact of how fast this unit actually is and I can just set it and forget it. Basically, I just let it do its thing while I can go pack up some other stuff, get some other things prepared before heading home. And I know that I'm going to get an accurate reading or at least within one or two PSI reading just by letting this do its thing. Set it up and go. The one thing I did find a little bit interesting was just the fact that uh, the digital tire pressure gauge was a little off versus what was on screen here but i don't think that's going to be too big of a deal especially since we have the uh, tpms sensors within the truck that we can check just to make sure that we have the right pressure gauge i like the fact that i can quickly attach and detach the connections it seemed like the airing down took maybe a little bit more just because uh you're, you're not really able to read the direct amount of air pressure, so you kind of have to do a little bit of start and stop. But I think over time, once you kind of get used to how, much, how long you need to open the valve for, you'll be airing down in no time. Now, one of the other things that uh, is, might be a little bit of a disadvantage towards a system like this is just the weight. You know, you do have a lot of cords that are connected to it. You do have to, you know, open your hood in order to access the battery. There is a little bit of a setup time versus maybe like an onboard system where it's just plug, make sure the truck is running and go. But with the onboard systems, you don't necessarily have the tire pressure gauge. You kind of have to constantly monitor it. It may even take a little bit longer than the auto air. One of the other things that I really like about this system is that it actually is cheaper than kind of one of the popular onboard air systems. Keep that in mind. So I am kind of curious to know what you guys think. So be sure to leave your comments down below, letting me know what you guys think of this particular system. One thing I am kind of curious to see is just how well this stacks up to a similar unit. And maybe one of the Mumphy Mafia out there can, uh, can help me out. And maybe we can do a race sometime. That'd be kind of interesting. I will leave a link down in the description box below, so be sure to check that out. And make sure that you check out mumphy.us, where I do have a shop and a mods list. So if you'd like to continue to support the channel, jump on over to the shop and check out some of the shirt options that I have over there. I also have a complete mods list, so if you are interested in finding 
any of the mods that I have on my truck, including this Easy Flate. I will have this listed over at mofi.us slash mods. So be sure to jump over there and check that out. I greatly appreciate all your support. Thank you so much for joining me on this video and I will catch you in the next one. Peace.